फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट नाइदर ऑफ द टू हैपन्ड मियरली बिकॉज सम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द पार्टीज इज रिकॉर्डेड बाय द फर्स्ट अपीलेट कोर्ट दैट दे हैव सेटल्ड द डिस्प्यूट एंड दैट द सूट मे बी डिसमिस्ड वुड नॉट मेक द डिफेंडेंट्स देयर इन फ्रॉम टेनेंट्स टू ओनर्स डिसमिसल ऑफ द सूट वुड ओनली मीन दैट देयर स्टेटस एज टेनेंट्स वुड कॉन्टिन्यू द फर्स्ट अपीलेट कोर्ट एंड द हाई कोर्ट फेल्ड टू कंसिडर दैट देयर वॉज नो चैलेंज टू द सेल डीड डेटेड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन एटी थ्री द डोक्ट्राइन ऑफ लिस्पेंडेंस और द रेस्ट्रिक्शन इम्पोज अंडर सेक्शन फिफ्टी टू ऑफ द ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी एक्ट एटीन एटी टू मे नोट बी रेलिवेंट और एप्लीकेबल इन प्रजेंट केस कंसिडरिंग द फैक्ट दैट वन ऑफ द पार्टीज प्लेंटिवस इन द प्रोसीडिंग्स एंड रिस्पोंडेंट्स इन पेंडिंग अपील हैविंग एग्जीक्यूटेड द सेल डीड ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेंसी ऑफ अपील बाय देयर सब्सिक्वेंट कंडक्ट ऑफ गिविंग अ स्टेटमेंट that their suit be dismissed acted in dishonest and unfair manner they were fully aware of having executed the sale deed their subsequent statement would only be termed as collusive and dishonest the order in the appeal court was not a decree on merits declaring any rights of the defendants to the suit appellants in the appeal in such circumstances the sale deed dated 22nd august 1983 could not be said to be hit by doctrine of lispendence at this juncture it would be appropriate to note the judicial decision which has been relied upon by the appellants to substantiate their claim that the sale deed is not hit by section 52 of the tp act in thomas press india limited versus nanak builders and investors private limited it was held that transfer of suit property pendant light is not void ab initio as it remains subservient to the pending litigation the purchaser of any such property takes the bargain subject to the rights of the plaintiff in pending suit therefore in the present case the sale deed dated 22nd august 1983 is not hit by section 52 of the tp act referring to the second submission of the respondents regarding the compromise decree being valid in law at the outset order 23 rule 3 cpc is reproduced where it is proved to the satisfaction of the court that a suit has been adjusted wholly or in part by any lawful agreement or compromise in writing and signed by the parties or where the defendant satisfied the plaintiff in respect to the whole or any part of the subject matter of the suit the court shall order such agreement compromise or satisfaction to be recorded and shall pass a decree in accordance therewith so far as it relates to the parties to the suit whether or not the subject matter of the agreement compromise or satisfaction is the same as the subject matter of the suit provided that where it is alleged by one party and denied by the other that an adjustment or satisfaction has been arrived at the court shall decide the question but not adjournment shall be granted for the purpose of deciding the question unless the court for reasons to be recorded thinks fit to grant such adjournment stop